everybody, this is Pam from the Paper Outpost, and I heard your call, I heard your battle cry. I did a poll, and I asked what challenges you had, and I listened, and I listened very closely, and I hope to cover them all, number one. But first of all, there was a loud battle cry for help me design a journal page. Just see, let me see your process. How do you think it through? What do you do? What do you do? So I thought the best way to do this was to actually take you through the process. I'm gonna show you what I actually do. Um, so this will be <laughs> interesting for me too, because uh, I don't generally talk my way through it that much, but we're, we're all learning here together. Uh, so what I did was I just grabbed a journal that I am going to be working on, and I'm gonna open it up to a random page and start just to see where inspiration goes, you know, how I think and stuff like that. Um, but anyway, um, I, I, ha I think I'm, I'm hoping this might be helpful. And uh, if, if this uh, works out well, maybe we'll make it into a little mini series, something like that. So let, anyway, let's get to it. Let's go make some pages. Okay, so there's uh, so this is reality. This is my reality mat. This is the one I actually work on. It's a well-loved mat. It's uh, um, cleanly dirty. Um, I clean it as much as I can. Well, I'm making excuses here for my dirty mat. Um, it's just a well-loved mat. It's had a lot of crafting on it. So let's get to it. Let's craft. Okay. So I'm just going to open to a random page. Uh, let's, okay, if you have concerns about where to start, and, and this is probably one of the biggest tips I can give you, um, I suggest random page because there's a, for me, I, I feel a lot of pressure in the front and I feel a lot of pressure, not pressure, I mean a lot of excitement <laughs> about uh, the back and the front covers inside just because I feel those are um, kind of uh, the presentation and then the conclusion and I just want those to be extra pretty so I, I uh, do extra emphasis there. But I, I do leave those to last because I want to get into a groove of what the journal actually um, is expressing to me. And sometimes I don't know what these are gonna look like till the end, so I leave those till the end. That's just my process. And this is all just my process. Nobody has to follow any of this advice. Everybody's different. And um, uh, you, you need to follow, uh, I'm actually, I'm having coffee now. I haven't had coffee in about, you know, four years. So uh, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> <I'm>, <gasps> Courage in a cup, right? Courage in a cup, okay. Oh, actually, it tastes really good. I miss coffee. Okay, so let's pick a random page. Um, should I go front, middle, back? Um, I'm just, uh, if I'm a little sheepish, I might go to the back, although the back should be just as uh, 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 decorated or however you want it to be as the front. Um, okay, but let's pick a random page and just try it. Okay, so we picked this page. Okay, how about that? Let me see if you can see. Yes, you can see. Okay, so I have choices. Now I have done a little bit of stuff in here already, so I'm going to ignore that one because I already put something on it. So let's just use this old page here. This is a, like, a, this is a writing page from a, a children's book. They were learning how to do their alphabets and things like that. It came from a specific school and I coffee dyed it. You can work on a perfectly white page. That will be absolutely fine too. It doesn't matter. Um, okay, so what would I do first? I would look at this and say, all right, do I want this to be an awe, A-W-E, or an explore page? Do I want the person just to oogle at it and go, oh, I, I, uh, I just think it's very interesting and it's giving me ideas of fun things I would like to create or write about? Or is it something I would like to have them an experience with? Is it gonna have pockets and tucks and um, uh, flip outs or things like that where they can actually get in there and do something? I feel like it's a Montessori school. <laughs> my, these are my Montessori school um, experiences uh, uh, of uh, something like that. So you get in there and you touch and you feel. Okay. Okay, so I'm looking at this one. It has some nice coloration already. The lines go up and down, which you know may or may not be that great for a person writing. They can easily turn the book sideways and write this way, and that's perfectly fine. Or I may want to mask that, because maybe I don't want that to be the major emphasis. All right, um, so I think we'll just start with some really easy ones, and we'll kind of build as we go. Um, okay, let's see what I have here. Okay. I'm just going to give you a quick shot of what is around me so you can kind of have an idea. It's a total mess, but I'm just letting you know I've got some buttons, i got some bling, got some tickets, some stencils, there's a pile of material over there, and uh, there's a lot more around me than, than that, but um, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> let's, just, let's just try that. Okay, so sometimes the white page can be very intimidating, and maybe you just want to deal with that right out of the get-go. And there's some easy ways to deal with that out of the get-go. There's about a billion and one ways to deal with that out of the get-go. Now, I have a pile of stencils. I'm just going to grab one. Of course, it has something hanging from it. Um, and I'm just going to put this down. And there. Now, if you're, you're like really in a good world and you do everything right, 
and appropriately. You should come in with something hard under, maybe not, that's more for stamping, but you just want to protect the pages behind it if you don't want the stencil to get onto the other pages. Sometimes I like that look though because it gives a little uh, mystery or mystique as the pages progress, little tippets of um, uh, stencil ink. So let me get some rubber daubers. Rubber daubers. What, what is a rubber dauber, Pam? There's no such thing. This is an ink dauber. <laughs> And uh, oh, I can see how this is going to go. Um, I got a brown and a green. Let's see what colors I want to work with. Here's a brown and a green. Okay, so let me just pull these pups out. And sometimes double coloring is fun. It gives a little bit of interest to the page. So let's try that. I got the brown going in the brown. Double checking. Can you see? Can you see? Yeah, okay. All right. Just yell at me if you can't. Okay. And you can daub down or you can squirrel a roux like this. It's totally up to you. Um, I tend to, I want to really want to get, I, I bought a new one, so I, I really need to pull my, my new forest green out. It's still got some life in it. All right. Maybe I'll even do three colors. Oh, I'm, I'm feeling like doing three. See, now I get a feeling to just go somewhere with something. I try and follow it because I don't know where it's going to lead. My daubers are right in front of me. I'm looking for them. Um, so I'm just following that process. Can't find the right dauber. That always happens. All right. I'm just going to grab this pink and get in there with some pink here. I don't know why, just because I thought it would be fun. Try to get the edges. I think that helps um, give you a little bit of niceness or design. Now, I think that's kind of pretty the way it is. I really like that. And I might say to myself, you know, I might just want to leave that. So we may do several pages here just so I, I kind of think through how I do this because I never really thought about how I do it before. Um, you just sort of do it, you know? There was, there was nobody to talk to before. <laughs> before you guys came along. <laughs> All right, so I'm putting my stencil down in my pile of stencils. Uh, so I like that already. I could leave that, but I, what I want to do is amplify it a little bit more. Um, I want to uh, not add too much bulk because I want, <laughs> I want it to close nicely. That doesn't exist in my world. I know, I know. But I do, I want you to know that I go in with intent to make things cl <laughs> close. <gasps> mm. More coffee. Okay. Uh, all right. So what I would like to do is actually add a word or a phrase or a sentiment. And this can be done many ways. And one, the one way I'm going to do today is I think I'm going to get um, an old book page and I'm going to I'm going to find some words that I like and tear them out and just add them as a side. Now you can use regular size font. You can use uh, Edith Holden has some really pretty style font on her, her, uh, her write her printing actually. We do something like that. Like sometimes you can just steal this bottom thing. Maybe we'll do that. That actually could, or is this color better? Well, maybe this color looks better. Okay, so you're kind of deciding on the tone. Is it going to pop from the background? It doesn't have to pop, but I am choosing pop today. So popping against the white is great, or sometimes you want to blend in and do a lot of neutrals. That's for another page. We're going to do pop today. All right, let me find something that looks half decent here. Um, I like uh, turned to the mountain. Oh, I like that. Okay, so I'm just going to go with that. Now you can gently tear, or if you're really organized, and I don't know where my ruler is. Where did it go? It's gone, of course, right when I need it. Okay, we'll just ignore that. Do we? Is it here? Hang on, let me find it. <laughs> okay, this is what you do when you can't find your ruler. You uh, carry on without it. I have two uh, metal rulers. I can't find either of them right now. So we just, we hand tear, we hand tear. Yeah, it's not that far. Come on, Pam, you can make this. And we're tearing with our little finger tools. Always the best tools ever, ever created. These ones are imported from Canada. Mm-hmm. Came over here, oh gosh, when I was 21. Let's just say that's like 100 million years ago. And uh, I will be 56 this year. And uh, I'm still here, I'm still kicking. And uh, I'm so happy to, to get to know all you guys. I love getting to know you guys. You guys are awesome. Okay, so now I'm going to place. And here's the thing. Are you going to place at the top? Um, I'm going to maybe turn it on an angle. That's kind of cool. It still gives everybody a lot of writing room. Now, they can actually write right across the stencil. So they still have this whole space if you want it to be... Um, uh, a writing page, or if you don't really care and you're just designing and having fun and, and leaving, you know, um, thrills to the wind, just plop it wherever you feel inspired. So I am going to use my, okay, what am I using? I'm using a Scotch Create permanent glue stick, multi-purpose, 
And uh, if you're looking for any tools and supplies and stuff like that, I do have the links below the video on the PC. Click on the show more button and that'll put a drop down there for you. And you can go to my Amazon store and see all sorts of goodies. Okay, so there, placed. Now we could say totally done. That is awesome. Does it need more? I don't know. I'm kind of feeling good about that. <clears throat> I would say at this point, I would just leave this page. I'm comfortable with leaving this page as a um, as uh, it's already decorated times two. You can do three if you want to feel more complete in a complete world. Um, I could go add stickles or liquid pearls to this, but the thing is I can't turn the page and then I'm stuck on that page until that dries and I don't want to do that yet, so I might need to come back later. My other options are I can add things that don't need to dry now. So let me go into one of those buckets if I want to add something. Got this little bucket full of randomness. If I can find something that speaks to me. So I've got pinks and browns and greens that I'm working with. So maybe do I want to pull some of that over here and use a uh, uh, that color scheme? Oh, these are kind of cute. Oh, dig, Pam, dig. All right, I got these little guys and they're very small and um, not too uh, bumpy. Something you have to take into account. Oh, this is pretty too though. Brings a little bit of the gold over there, but that's too sparkly. Oh, then we also, oh, don't empty it out. I have these, a little softer pink, but I think I'm gonna go with the brighter pink because I think it, it marries with this one a little bit better. I'm gonna use a small one and I'm gonna put a little extra glue because I just, I, I have had so many things pop off in on the old days when I don't use extra glue and I trust uh, the, you know, these people are putting super strong glue on there and uh, I think it's okay glue, but it's not like the, the strongest and the, you can use tweezers and little pickups and stuff like that for this. But I, for some reason, personally like to do the chase around. And so I'll chase around some little tiny piece for forever until I get it. Oh, there, I got a, I got a bob of glue on there. All right, here we go. Oh, let me, apparently I'm using tweezers today. <laughs> okay, it's a little slippery. But let's just get you down there. And where do, where do I want to put you? Oh, fingers again. Okay, I'm just going to put you here. If I can. Yeah, and this is how it goes. I can chase one of these little guys around for an hour. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, I have the little sticky thing to pick them up too. I have it. It's in my drawer behind me in the supplies drawer. And eh, sometimes I feel like pulling it out, sometimes not. Okay, there we go. Can you see? Yeah, let me just do it closer. So there it is. Nothing fancy, very simple, and a delicate design. Okay, let me back up a bit. Um, nothing hard about that. I think that um, using torn things from books or torn things from old newspapers, um, old magazine ads looks really cool in journals because uh, it just it just there's a texture to it and a fascination about it. Um, what does that mean? Where does that take you in your mind? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, so let us uh, find another page. Okay, so we're closing the journal and we'll try for the middle somewhere here. Is it up here. <laughs> okay, that's the front page of a signature. Um, so I'm thinking, do I want to define the next signature by placing something on the front or do I want to keep it clear as an introduction, almost like an inner leaflet page to introduce you to what is in the signature. And uh, I would say, what the heck, let's decorate it. <laughs> uh, and I think on this one, this is a, is a beautiful avocado dyed page, but I'm feeling like uh, maybe I'm, I'm really into layering lately. I'm like all layer Sally. So oh, what are we doing time? Yeah. Okay. So I think I'd like to do a little layer thing with maybe a fabric flip. It's a very basic concept. It's not, nothing fancy pants here, but it's easy and it's cool and let's just do it. Okay, so I have this cool little piece of material I got from somewhere and I'm just going to cut out a piece that sort of fits the page. Let me just give myself an eyeball to where I want to go. I'm just going to mark it with some ink so I can see where to cut there. And then maybe there. Okay, now if I don't let go of those spots, I can actually still see them again. I'm just using a pinking shear. You can use regular scissors, doesn't matter. I just I just happen to like the, the pinking edge. Oh, am I following straight? Yeah, okay, there we go. And uh, this is how I'm avoiding having to measure it. So using these little um, marks with the pencil or marker really helps uh, get rid of some of that 
lovely measuring stuff that I'm not a big fan of. Now, if you love to measure, measure away. Happy, happy measuring. You know, no problem with that. Okay, so now I've got that. Now, how am I going to attach it? And what am I going to do with it? Is it going to have, is it going to be, hey, look at, just look at this beautiful page. Maybe, that's fine. Or should there be a surprise under there? And maybe you, it, it, this is actually sheer material. So something could peek through and they could see through. So I think I would like to do something like that. And what have I got? I have got, where'd it go? Why is it gone? All right, let me go get something. Hang on. All right, I have got a little piece of uh, vintage ephemera. This is an old uh, Victorian trading card. And I am going to go ahead and I could do a couple things. I'm going to adhere this one. Um, but if you don't want to adhere it because it's a precious old item, there's nothing on the back of this one, so I feel okay in adhering it. Uh, but maybe you just want to make a little pocket that it could slip in so the person could pull it out. Actually, let's do that. What the heck? Um, okay. <laughs> you talked me into it. You guys, you guys. The one is that? That's kind of cool, isn't it? Um, all right. So I'm going to use this Edith Holden page. And I want my ruler. Where is it? Who took it? All right. Are you guys hiding it on me? I, I thought we swept all the gremlins out. And I cleaned up today too, so I could find everything. All right, is it on here? No, okay. It has to be here somewhere. I don't go anywhere with it. All right, let me go look for it. I'll be right back. Okay, <laughs> apparently I was the gremlin and I found it exactly where I left it in the other room. I was measuring something. <laughs> Can you imagine? Okay, I'm having this feeling like I might wanna, I don't know, this might look cra crazy kooky. Mm -hmm. Two weird contrasting colors, but pretty through. Ooh, that's sort of pretty. I like that. that. I like the way that looks through there. Maybe I won't even use this. See, this is how it happens. I like the see-through of this. But then what could I do with this? I could turn it into something. Like, it doesn't have to be what it is. Let me just tear some of this off. It's going to be too wide, I think. I'd have to pare it down. I stick it on there. could use it as a tuck. All right, what do you look like? That's kind of cool, but maybe a little thinner. You want me a little thinner? So you hide under there? Hmm. And that's kind of pretty. I like that. Maybe I need, uh, oh, yep, yep, okay. I've got my mic on. I'm, I'm, I'm not used to <laughs> talking out loud while I'm creating. This is weird. Okay, I, I mean, pre-thinking, you know. Okay, all right, so. And what else could I do? I could also do it from the side. I could do it this way. That would be kind of cute. Could tuck something in there. Oh, that might be fun. All right, let's work on something like that. But maybe, do I want to, okay. Yeah, I like that. All right, let's do something like that. And there'll be a little surprise underneath. And it'll be a little tuck and I can tuck something in there, a little side tuck. Okay, um, do I want a sharp edge there or not? You know what, I'm gonna do the sharp edge and then I'm gonna do something with it, yes. Feeling very devilish today. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. It's going down. All right, I have made the commitment. You are living there now. All right. And now, presto changer, we want to get you to lay on top of there. So let's see, do we need something across the top? Maybe that? That's kind of pretty. Blingy, bulky, but pretty. I like it. All right, let's just do it. Okay, where's my Fabrifix? Don't go far, Fabrifix. I'm almost done this bottle. And uh, that's always an exciting time because then I'm going to be opening a new bottle. And the new bottles are so easy to work out of, but I like to get every last little bit just so I feel good about using it all up. The stuff, not, not, it's not cheap. <laughs> so you want to make sure you get every last little drop. Okay, so that is down and that's going to hold very well. Oh, Fabrifix, if you don't know, it's a clear silicone glue. It's great for fabric to fabric, fabric to paper, paper to paper. Um, yeah, this was sitting here. So why don't we do that? All right, this one's going to have a little glam in it, apparently. Okay, so that's just the way the journal's going. I didn't know that when I started. Nobody, nobody said, hey, Pam, it's time to glam. But it'll be a subtle glam. There'll be like a little like blinginess here and there, but it won't be like over, like you know, who's to say what over bling is? There's no definition of over bling. It's uh, bling as you want, you know, go as blingy or as non-blingy as you want. Um, and I go back and forth. Sometimes I'm like, oh, you know, blingarama. And other times I'm like, nope, nope, soft, natural, neutral, pretty nature. Okay, so I already have that. And that glue grabs relatively quickly and you also still have a minute or two to readjust. Let's say it's not sitting evenly and you can put that little guy where you want him to be. Okay, so 
we have a flipperoo and we have a little tuck and I think I would like to put something here just to define that edge a little bit and let me see what I have oh I have this I had uh, dyed some seam binding the other day and that might be pretty oh I like that yes let's do that all right let me find my little scissors my little scissors of love sometimes cutting things on an angle is cute um, sometimes uh, cuter than a blunt cut uh, but totally up to you. No have tos. Just something that gives a little extra design appeal, maybe. If you could cut straight. Hey, Pam, put your glasses on. That would help. Yeah, I always know that's going to make a difference for some reason. No, I'm not just wearing them to hold my hair back. Okay, so now I need to glue that down. And now the trick with seam binding, because it's so thin. Okay, put a little, a little down. Don't put too much glue. That was the first trick. And uh, like use finger tool, come in here and smush that glue bead down so it does, you don't get bleed through as much. Fabrifix doesn't bleed through that much, but it can on a really thin fabric. So you just want to want to, there we go. Oh, I got to go further south. Okay, there we go. All right. Oh, I don't have enough glue on there. I wiped it right off. <laughs> Let me try that again. It's still sticky. Come on, stick. <laughs> All right. All right, if you're not sticking, I have to put more glue. Okay, maybe, apparently I need more glue than I think. All right, so now we re reapply. This is how it goes in reality. All right. Okay, now I'm not going to remove. I'm just going to flatten. Yeah, that was a flatten. I'm going to get in here faster before it dries. Da 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 da. Working with a wrinkly thing here. <laughs> it's my life. All right, there we go. And we're down. And we're placing, placing. Okay. And if you have a little uh, curl a there, you just uh, you just deal with that. Just come in with some backup glue, because you can. And I, I recommend gluing the thing you're trying to stick down. Don't glue the paper, but glue the thing, because then you know you're not going to go beyond the border of the thing. So see how I just glued that down? And it's not going to be passed here. Sometimes when this glue gets on the paper, it leaves a little bit of shiny residue. And if you're lucky, and you get in there, and you start rolling it off like this fast, You'll, you'll get these glue balls and it'll pick up everything and it comes right off. If you leave it too long, it'll harden and then it will be there for eternity. But then you can always come in and uh, cover it with something. That's our greatest strategy of all. We come in there and whoop, 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 covered and it looks like it was part of the design. Okay, so now we got to put something behind it and tuck it. Now I just think that's flower and flower, so that's too much. <laughs> uh, so I, I look for contrast. Okay, so I have blank background. Well, here I have lace then I have dry papery flowers and maybe I want to do some print some type of print behind it and uh, let's see I I have what do I have I got lots of stuff I got stuff I got stuff I have this old 1877 receipt some something from a national bank and uh, I think that might look cute back there it's relatively thin so I don't want too much bulk back there let me just I'll try it in for size see, I, I if I fold it less, there will be less bulk and that won't fit. So if I fold it more, I can get it in there, but there will be more bulk. So is that what I want? No, maybe that's too fat. So that's, I'm not going to use. Okay. But what can I use? What can I use? Okay. I'm looking in my pile and uh, let's see. Let me find something. Hang on. Okay. I got some stuff. Actually, I got a lot of stuff. And this is another tip or trick I wanted to share with you. If you're making a journal, sometimes it's easier to run and pick out all the stuff you're going to use in the journal and put it in a Ziploc bag. And then as you're making the journal, you just you don't have to keep getting up and running around your entire craft room to find stuff. You can just pull from the bag. So let me pull something from the bag here that's going to fit nicely. Oh, this might work. No, nope, wrong thing. Um, looking. Oh, a, a nice, uh, oh, this might work. How about a nice little handwritten letter? Let's try that. See if we can get you to, got to fold your back maybe so you can see the date. I'm just going to tuck you in there. Okay. Now, let's put that down. That's not bad. Now, a little pop-up is not bad because when the journal is closed and compressed, that will flatten out more with time. So I think I am actually going to roll with that. I like the way the, uh, calligraphy shows behind the flower and then you have the lace on top of that so it's a little mystery like oh what is tucked in here and um, okay so I'm going to leave that with that now let's say you don't like that little pop-up effect and that's bugging you 
You can always come in here with a small uh, paper clip or something like that, or a little something and just paper clip it down and do that. Okay, that's no problem. So don't let pop up bug you. you can, there's ways around that. Okay, so now I think I would like to put a little something, a little something down here so the person knows I'm hoping the person knows they, they flip it up and find little gems and jewels under there. So let me grab a little something. I've got a drawer over here full of little somethings. Well, let me show you my little drawer. These are, <laughs> I'm showing you all my, my, I feel like I'm showing you my underwear today. Um, here's a, my drawer of little somethings. And I put um, safety pins. Oh, that would be cute, wouldn't it? Yeah, let's try that. See, that's how you get struck by something. You're like, oh, that would be nice. Cute little safety pin. pin. It looks um, opposite of, do I want pink? Maybe not. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't committed yet. Um, it's kind of small, but I can make it bigger. I can do something. Or, 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 what I, yeah, I'm constructing a little, basically a tab, and I just want to uh, try different things for tabs. Um, you can also use a cluster down here that would work nicely and um, or if your little thing is too small <laughs> if your little thing is too small we can make them bigger and uh, let's oh we got a bigger maybe a maybe a cream colored one might go more nicely with the design I think so and that's I uh, put okay I put some alcohol ink in the bag because these were too brightly colored for me and I put in some brown and some teal colored and just rolled it around let it air dry and now I've got some can you see that it, it makes them look a little old and rusty which I think is kind of cool uh, but I think I would like to nest this on something Whoop, what, what are you doing here we could nest on you this is just a piece of uh, tea towel oh that looks cute let's do that that's just very innocent yeah see you can do innocent bling yeah we're somewhere in the middle we're like uh we're, okay so we want to put that down all right so now I'm going to take this I'm going to put some glue on it. <laughs> Going back to my Fabrifix. Are we doing on time? Okay. And uh, yeah, so I think we'll uh, at least get a couple pages shown for you here. And this might be a good way just to, I don't know, just get some ideas when you're sitting down and thinking, what can I do? What can I do? Um, I know. I know the blank page. I know I've been, it's looked at me many times, but the blank page is truly your friend. Okay, I'm going to glue this down. Now, you got to be careful it doesn't stick through to the back of what you're, you're working on. Uh, so you might just want to stick something under there. And of course, in an organized world, I'd have something. Okay, there we go. And uh, let me get my, there's my safety pin. Now, I guess I could just safety pin it right on. Let's try that. But what a shocker, eh? I don't even have to glue it. All right, let me try. Glue it up. There's safety pin a little high. And then I'll clamp it. Yeah. Kind of a little cockeyed like that, I think looks sort of cute. And uh, there we go. Does it look too cockeyed? Maybe, huh? Okay, I'll readjust. Now that's a nice thing. You, you have time, you can readjust. If it doesn't look right to your eye, change it. Remember, it's only paper. And remember, you have full power over, <laughs> over this stuff. Uh, you're commandeering the ship. And uh, it's important to remember to have fun. And don't stress because uh, it's that's part of your creative process, just trying different things. And you're going to learn what you like and what you don't like as you go. And you're going to find uh, different ways to do things. So I say just roll with it. And I think I need a number. I don't know why. Sometimes when you don't know what to do or what to add, a number or a letter, something like that, can add a lot of pizzazz. Yeah, just maybe just needed something. Like, like what do you mean what this one means? Like... Here, I've got a V. Here's a V. Can't see the V there, but it's a V. V for Victorian. There. See, I, I accidentally put my safety pin a little over this way, which is fine. That can be fine too, but I wanted to balance it with something on that side just to say I did. And using black on any page will always help anchor your page. It's a great neutral. Um, you can use a lot of it, a little bit of it. Doesn't matter. It depends on your design style, but it does uh, tend to anchor a page, which makes it look look kind of cool. All right, so there we have completed that one. So I would say, let's just look at the other one. Where was it? In the back somewhere. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. It was a pretty simple page. We just did some basic stenciling and a torn word. And here we did a fabric flip. Um, so here, flipping. And then, actually, I kind of like that because I think that looks cute. And um, the alcohol ink does come off a little bit if you use a lot of it, so just be aware. But if you like that look, it makes it look like a, a rusty, 
Let me bring you down this better. Okay. Looks like a rusty um, little thing from eight days gone by. That works out kind of cool too. So, um, and then we have this little letter, which is uh, handwritten and very cool in the back. And so, I, yeah, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that there just because I like the look of it. So we did those, I hope you had fun. And um, uh, so uh, if you are, if you've been with my channel for a while, I'm just gonna go through my quick rundown. If you're new to my channel, this might be some valuable information I go through at the end of my videos. Um, if you find value here, please like, subscribe, and share. Hit the notification bell beside the word subscribe if you want to be notified of every video that I uh, put out. I put out videos Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays at 7 a.m. Eastern time. All my favorite tools and supplies are, I have all the links below my video. It's easy to find if you're on your PC. Um, just click the show more button, everything drops down. You'll see everything there. Um, but I have uh, vintage digital kits for sale as well in my Etsy shop. And um, uh, my podcasts, which are audio, um, you c I do those on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I upload new ones and they're on all sorts of fun junk journal related topics and it's different audio from my videos. So it's new material, just fun things we can talk about as uh, we explore the world of junk journaling together. Uh, I have organized playlists of topics and I've linked those below and at the end of the videos. I'm working on my how-to playlist right now and developing that one a little bit more. So you're going to find a lot of unusual things in there. I have a using up the book pages one. I have how to uh, journal construction one, how to make your journals from the from the beginning, different ways to do that. And um, you can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Etsy, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook. Um, there's an awesome Facebook group. Oh, let me back up. I'm like showing you super close. Sorry. Um, my Facebook group, come and join the Paper Outpost FB group. Uh, there's a link below as well to find that. But basically, we have a lot of fun there. We do weekly and monthly challenges, which are optional. And it's a great place to ask questions about junk journaling. And the uh, people on there are very fun and very supportive and very kind. And we all really help each other grow in this world. And we get great ideas from each other. So come on out and play with us. Uh, remember that fun can be simple. And... Um, Create with Reckless Abandon. And just for those of you who are curious about uh, journal sales, I'm doing three different types of journal sales. One now, um, one is called The Big Announcement, where I tell you it's going to be uh, notified, you'll be notified on my videos all through my social media. And I'll try and make lots of bells and whistles and noise that something is coming out so you'll, you'll hear about it. And uh, then I will set a time for a video on it, which will give a full flip through. And then a time later in the same day, so that you can go and try and catch one on Etsy if that happens. That way everybody has a comfortable time to uh, watch the video and then also go um, at a time where everybody across the country can hopefully uh, um, uh, buy one online if, if, if they're available. And um, what else? Uh, oh, and then the uh, th second way is uh, I'll do a video. It won't be, or it might be, I don't know, it could be any time. And but the journal will go up for sale right away. So you, there's no downtime. So let's say you just happen to come across and you're like, oh, I really want that video or I really want that journal. Boom. You just jump over to Etsy. Hopefully it's still there. You buy it. You're out the door and it's a done deal. And then the third way is uh, I'm just going to sneak one up uh, as a secret flash sale on Etsy. Pop one up there. No fanfare, no video. I'm just going to put it on Etsy. It's going to have the full description of the, the journal as well as um, 